the Beach Boys, Kokomo, as featured in the Tom Cruise film Kokomo, where he flared and shook it up. Uh, we're celebrating Newcastle's second annual cocktail week. Well, it would be rude not to. Uh, you can head to BBC Newcastle's Facebook page now, see me shaking up my very own concoction. And you can also find out the very inventive name I give it. But first, let's climb aboard once more the Mobile Cocktail Lounge, which pulled up here at BBC De Castro the other day to teach me a thing or two about making the beautiful drink. Chris, are virgin cocktails popular? Which I think is the producer's cheeky way of of, 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 of talking about cocktails with no alcohol, because I didn't know that that was the term. Yes, well, obviously, when we do cocktail classes, we, obviously, a lot of hen parties hanging around, um, you always have someone who's pregnant, because they're in that age range now where between 25 and 35 women are getting married and having children. Yeah. So you always get a cocktail class where someone comes along. So we still let them come behind the bar, make a cocktail, that sort of thing. So people can still be involved. Obviously, it's still fresh lemon juice, fresh lime, all sorts of fresh fruit and flavours. So you can have non-alcoholic mojitos. I'm going to make a non-alcoholic amaretto sour now. Oh. OK. What do you mean again? We're making a, a, a low-alcohol amaretto sour. So an amaretto sour is normally... Um, it's amaretto, obviously, uh, lemon juice, um, a little bit of sugar sometimes, and Angostura bitters, which is like a, it's almost a medicine, sort of a medicine-style style drink. Um, it's very, very high in alcohol, so you only put a little dash in. So how long have cocktails been around for, do you think? We think since 18... 1798 was the first reference. And the word cocktail, why? Um, that's a very good question. It's one of those things that, because it's been around for such a long time, no one really knows where it came from. Uh, some people say it's derived from kind of French terms for the cock's tail, as, as literal as that. Which uh, would have dressed the drink. Yeah. Exactly. So it's about the flamboyance of the style of the drink. Chris, is it a bit of an art form? A bit of science and a bit of art, I would say. You've got, you've got bartenders out there that call themselves mixologists. We prefer to call ourselves booze chefs. <laughs> we're much more we're much more down to earth mixer. I just can sometimes feel a little bit stuffy I think and not very approachable do you have a signature cocktail? yeah I say we've got a very good signature cocktail which we'll make right now for you oh. it involves lots of fire really? lots of drama yeah um, you might lose a bit of hair I'm sorry to say oh ok right um, it's called a flaming Lamborghini we do a slightly different version with a towering inferno of lit Quantro, essentially. Right, let the drama commence. You drink this one while it's actually on fire. How? Well, you get two straws at the bottom, one, oh, one right, on each okay. side. You've got to watch your hair, so watch your fringe when you, while you're on there, yes. What do you mean, um, what alcohol's in there? That's just, so far that's just blue cuba, so which is orange liqueur. So you're about to pour, pour liquid? liquid f- oh. fire. And it burns with a blue flame because obviously it's, it's alcohol. Oh, my word. So there's a glass on top of a brandy glass on top of a thing on top of a <laughs> martini glass. A big pile of glasses, yes. And it's all, all on fire. All, and, it's, and it's all on fire, yes. Wow. And at the end, once everything has kind of gone out and all the all the alcohols in the bottom, you put your straws in and you drink in one go. I don't want to die. Well, you, won't, you won't die. It'll be fine. Well, it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> it was on fire. <laughs> yeah, I suppose that would follow. Um, uh, We're going back for more, though. Mm. Okay. Is mm. that nice? Orange, <laughs> orange, orange liqueur? Yeah, I've yeah, just dribbled yeah, everywhere. Yeah, well, well. It's my age. <laughs> <laughs>